Hi folks, it's Ron. Hey, welcome back to my channel. You know, here at Ideal Industries, we've become a leading manufacturer of circuit analyzers and testers. And uh, I've been around for actually quite a few years now. And if you told me I could only keep a couple, three Ideal testers in my pouch, uh, which ones would I think about? And uh, I tell you, one I would definitely think about is the 61-051, what we call our Easy Check Plus uh, circuit tester. And uh, it will test electrical outlets for uh, proper polarity. Uh, it'll also trip any GFCIs you might have in the building as well. And electrical contractors and uh, inspectors have been using something like this to test electrical wiring for uh, lots of years now. And the tester will indicate uh, faulty wiring at three wire, 120 volt circuits. And it's got everything you'd really want in a little tester. It's got a nice ergonomic feel to it. It's in a nice rugged hard case. Uh, the lights on it bright, are really bright, so you can see them in any type of, of lighting condition you might be in. And even better yet, it's actually made here in the good old United States. So what's not to like? To use it, you very simply just plug it into an electrical outlet, and it has these indicator bulbs on them. And depending on what bulbs light up and this little legend on the top of the tester, it'll tell you something about that electrical outlet, either whether it's you know proper polarity, uh, if it's got reverse polarity or open neutrals. And actually, there's quite a few little things it'll actually indicate for you. Now, keep in mind, these simple little testers have little, these little bulbs in them, okay? And um, they'll light up even if there's just two conductors barely touching each other. So um, it will not tell you anything about the, the, the quality of the connection you might have. It's just going to give you proper polarity or not. And so it also will not indicate more than one thing wrong at an outlet. So uh, if there's more than one thing wrong at an outlet, you'd have to fix that first thing it indicated retest the outlet again uh, with the tester to be able to pick up that second fault. And uh, keep in mind, uh, again, the little bulbs in here are going to light up with not two wires are just barely touching each other. So again, if you need to do uh, testing of the uh, connection for the quality of connection, well, other testing will have to be done. Now, before you use one of these things, always plug it into a known outlet. Make sure that the darn thing is working before you actually go out and test all the other outlets in a building. And as always, if you don't feel comfortable working with electricity, uh, well, go out and hire an electrical contractor, and they'll fix that wiring error for you. Okay? Well, let's uh, move over to the shop, and I'll actually show you how to use the EasyCheck Plus uh, circuit tester from Ideal. Here I have the EasyCheck Plus tester plugged into an electrical outlet that is wired properly. And as you can see, of the three bulbs on the tester, the outer two are lit up. Now, looking at the legend on the tester, this indication represents correct wiring. Now, next to each condition on the legend, it will explain what the different light combinations mean, and black represents the lamp that is not lit up. The next indication the tester will give us is for an open ground. When the tester indicates that only the left bulb is lit and the other two are not. A reverse polarity is indicated by just the left and the middle light lit on the tester, and that indicates that your hot and neutral conductors are reversed. An open hot in a circuit, the tester will not light any of the lights on the tester. If you have an open neutral, only the far right light will light up, indicating a condition that needs to be addressed. When the EasyCheck Plus sees a hot and ground conductor reversed, the middle and far right bulbs will light up. Finally, if the tester senses a hot on the neutral conductor with a hot conductor open, only the middle indicator light will light up. If the tester indicates a reverse, open, or non-energized condition, or if one of the lights is on but appears dim, the person using it must use a voltmeter to sort out what's going wrong. There should be about 120 volts between the hot and neutral, 120 volts between the hot and ground, and between neutral and ground should measure no more than 2 volts or less. The EasyCheck tester can also be used to trip a GFCI receptacle, ensuring that it is working properly. Simply plug the tester into the GFCI, and with both outside bulbs lit, simply push the black test button on the top of the tester for a minimum of six seconds. Now, usually the GFCI under test will trip immediately, and both lights on the tester will go out. However, older GFCIs may take a little longer. Now, if both lights do not go out, and the GFCI does not trip, it suggests a wiring problem with a totally operable GFCI, or you could have proper wiring with the, a faulty GFCI. This test requires that the outlet is wired with a functioning ground conductor as well. And consult a qualified electrician to check the condition of any wiring and the GFCI if necessary. If you're interested in learning more about getting your hands on one of these testers, 
contact our customer service department and we will find a distributor near you by you who stocks the EasyCheck Plus tester. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal and thanks for watching the channel.